Hello, Cancer. It's time to get yourself out of an unhappy situation so you can get yourself into a much nicer one. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello everyone, welcome in. This is a Cancer Tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. You hold the key to an awakened life. Number 41 reduced to a five, number of change. Set yourself free. Highly recommend. Build and breaks. Saunter slowly. Number 15 reduced to a 6. So we have 5 and 6. We're in the middle of a cycle. And something about this says that it's so important that you are meant to take your time. What are we setting ourselves free from? The message is coming through that you don't have to get everything done right now. Not right exactly now. Someone's running themselves ragged. That needs, that needs to stop. <laughs> that definitely needs to stop. Okay. Show me what's going on with cancer, please. Show me what's going on with cancer. One cut, please. Try it again. Thank you. The moon underneath, Pisces energy. Five of Pentacles. Nine of Swords, Ace of Wands. Four of Swords. Four of Cups. Queen of Wands. Seven of Swords. Hmm. Hmm. This person's doing something that they don't want you to find out. I'm going to read this out as you, Cancer. This is the person you're connecting with. This is the situation. Okay. Hmm. What this feels like is that in the midst of a breakup, dissolution of marriage, whatever, you've met someone you don't want them to know about and there's something they don't want you to know about. Interesting. Yeah, the two of you don't really speak anymore. It's kind of like we speak through attorneys kind of thing. That's that kind of vibe. For some reason, you feel the need to keep things silent, to keep silent what it is that's going on in your life. It doesn't seem like you need to, but it's the cards you're both playing. It's kind of odd. Let's get into the situation. The five of coins, please. Show me the five of coins. The Magician, the Queen of Cups, King of Coins. This is a little bit manipulative. There we go. See what comes. So it feels okay. It 
getting weirder and weirder. King of Coins is Taurus energy for those keeping track. Th this feels like a manipulative cycle. Okay. Um, this feels like the feminine. This feels like the masculine. It feels like the feminine is trying to reel you back in. Okay, there's there's some emotional manipulation here. Even though she kind of has something else going on anyway. Okay. When it, it feels like for you, for the masculine, you you really just desire to move on from this and have something new. But you're feeling caught up in this though. Okay. But Again, it's emotional manipulation to pull you back into connection with her when she actually has something already. Show me the Nine of Swords for Cancer, please. Strength card of Leo, King of Wands, double Leo energy. Okay, you are being told if you have Leo in your chart, now is the time to use it. That leadership energy. Get yourself out of hell, right? Show me the Four of Swords, please. Knight of Swords, Seven, seven of Coins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Move as fast as you can. <laughs> this, something about this connection, you kind of loitered in it. Okay. Um... But you're be you're being encouraged to move away from something that's basically a dumpster fire <laughs> as quickly as you can. There's it's there's the statement you need to free yourself. Show me the Queen of Wands, please. And the coins. Yep, there's someone else that you're up in the air on, and they are a match for you. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. The higher fent on the bottom, that Taurus energy. There is someone who is who is a match for you that has her own life. Ten of coins with the Queen of Wands there. Okay. Um, if you have a child, she will also love your child. Okay. It's not coming across as having one together. It feels like there's a child uh, that's a product from this that she will also embrace. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's going on with this person. Show me the Ace of Wands, please. Show me the Ace of Wands. Emperor Carterberries. Knight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Ace of Swords. Yeah, she still wants her husband. Mm-hmm. So after going through the process of, say, filing for divorce and going through the proceedings and things like that, she gets to the point where it hits her that, no, she actually wants to keep her husband. But she has something going on. Show me the Four of Cups, please. Justice, card of Libra, page of wands. So the connection, the dissolution of the connection of her happiness, okay, five of cups, ten of cups, becomes official in the court system. Okay, there's a lot of disappointment and sadness there that it is over, over, forever, ever, forever, ever. Show me the seven of swords. Seven of swords, seven of wands. Eight of coins. This is someone who does not want to have to take the risk to be back out in the world again in any way. They could want to not get a job again, but, um, yeah, um, she falls silent on that front. What's her deal? <laughs> Let's just get down to it. What's her deal? There was a time when it was love. It's 
So she still secretly loves you. She still secretly loves you. Leo, Scorpio, Gem Gemini, for those keeping track. It was love at one time. It resulted in at least one child here for a lot of you. Um, that she's saying is like, you know, one of the happiest things that's ever happened to her. And um, didn't want to see how much that you were changing over time. And keeping to herself that she actually still loves you. Doesn't want to move on from this, but she knows she has to. Interesting. Okay. Show me this Queen of Wands. What's the deal with this Queen of Wands? Ace of Coins, Judgment. Ace of Cups. Ooh, that's a new, new beginning. New, new. That's orchestrated by the universe. It's going to happen fast. So fast. And you're going to see her for the Empress that she is. Alrighty. Alrighty. Well, on that note, I'm going to head over to the Extended. I'm going to see what's going on with this Queen of Wands in her current energy, her near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I will see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.